guys, we're back from the lake and just want to give you guys a quick rundown of what we thought about the Formula One Exceed boat. Performance wise, it was pretty good. Some of us wanted it to be, of course, a little faster. I thought it was good for the size and scale. The boat's actually going pretty fast. It's got a 380 size motor in there. Uh, probably want to upgrade that motor later to a higher KV, maybe get a little bit more speed out of it. Um, it's got Quite a bit of punch, when you, if you punch the throttle, you'll see the boat kind of jump out of the water. You kind of want to ease in the throttle, and once that prop digs in, you pick up speed, and the boat kind of just hydroplanes and lifts off the water, and that's when you're getting your good speed. Um, straightaways, wow, it's pretty quick. Cornering, it corners on a dime. Man, it turns real fast, uh, but if you turn it too fast, you, you can actually flip it, which we did a couple times. We actually flipped it, and uh, we were able to recover it, and Thankfully, we didn't have any electronic failures. So let's talk about durability and how much water it took on. Well, as you'll notice, the hatch is held on by magnets. The receiver box is covered, as we mentioned before, by plexiglass. It's got tape. Um, they give you two pieces of tape. We actually brought packing tape, just regular old packing tape. We taped it down and we were running it. When we flipped it, water did get in. A little bit of water came in, um, but the receiver and the servo is actually on an elevated platform. It's not sitting at the bottom of the hole, so it's kind of elevated. So if you get a little bit of water in there, your receiver and servo is sitting above that uh, little bit of water that you get in. The ESC and the servo is, of course, waterproof. I would recommend getting a waterproof receiver. We do have waterproof receivers from Exceed that you can buy that you can drop in there. So luckily, we didn't have any electronic failures. It retained a little bit of water. Um, there's still actually a little bit in here. But all in all, a good driving bolt. What type of batteries did we use? We used 11.1 volt 3 cell, uh, 25C batteries. I would recommend probably going a little higher C, maybe 30, 40. Uh, it does draw a lot of load from your batteries because uh, of being a boat and um, a prop, there's a lot of load uh, being drawn there. Maybe a 30C or 40C would be better suited. 25C, it did okay. Batteries got a little bit of warm. Um, we used Skylipo Gen's Ace, and we actually have some Dynam batteries from our helicopters in here. Um, that's the one in here currently right now. Uh, three cell, um, it ran pretty good. We have 2200s in here. You can fit a 5000 in here, which will give you a lot more runtime. Each runtime, you're going to be getting at least 15, 20 minutes if you're smashing away. You're at least going to be getting 20 minutes off that 2200 or 3000 milliamp battery. But all in all, a great boat. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want uh, to leave a comment, say something about the boat, definitely leave it below. Definitely subscribe to us if you want to see more greatest and latest RC products from NitroRCX.com. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you later. Today we're going to be showing you guys one of our newest and latest boats, it's the Exceed F1 Power Boat. Now I'm not an expert in uh, F1 boats, but I'm going to try my best to give you guys the best information on this boat possible. So you pro boat guys, go easy on me. Um, it is an F1 Power Boat. As I know,